Hello everyone, uh, this is the first video in a series of videos uh, that will, will be dedicated to uh, single incision uh, pediatric endoscopic surgery or so-called single incision laparoscopic surgery that is performed on children. Um, in this first video, I'm going to be talking about two um, uh, most commonly used uh, ports that, uh, that is utilized for this type of surgery. Um, as uh, you know, or, or you're probably just new to this, um, this type of surgery is usually done through a single incision uh, in the umbilicus uh, through which we place uh, multiple ports. I'm here going to be describing two uh, commonly used uh, ports. The first one is the gel port and usually it comes in like this. Um, can you zoom in on that please? So it comes in like this. I mean these uh, two devices have been used before and then cleaned. However, um, I'm going to use these for demonstration. Uh, the gel port uh, comes in, this is the first part, usually it comes in wrapped in like that, you have to unwrap it and then there will be the um, soft ring, that's the green ring and this bit will sit inside the abdomen and then the hard ring, that's the white ring and that sits on the outside and the way you um, apply this, you just simply uh, fold this like that and then using your incision, imagining that this is your incision which actually your, your incision in a child would normally be much smaller than this but imagining this is the incision, you just slot in like this. And then the, the ring on the inside will open up. Can you show the ring on the inside? And then to create a seal, you've got this silicone membrane in between the internal and external ring. You just fold this in and you keep folding it. Usually you would have an assistant or four, fi four fingers are trying to do this until it is tight and then you can see that you've created a seal. Just have a look on the green ring from the inside too. Yes, there we go. Okay, so you can see the green ring, now it's tight. So there is a seal between the inside ring and the outside ring and then you bring the top part and before you apply the top part on the um, on the uh, outside ring, you need to insert the ports and usually it comes with four ports. Three of them are five millimeter and one of them is for bigger instruments. So that's a 10 millimeter port. And the way you apply this, you just mount the port on the trocar and you literally purse through this gel membrane of the top part. And uh, you have a bit of liberty in where you place your ports, but usually you want to aim in between these two flanges of the gas ports. And you literally push this in and as you do this you want to make sure that the flanges on the port goes through the gel because that's what secures it in place and two and again you want to make sure that the gel goes through and three you can actually use four if need be but most of the time you probably would be using three ports and then the way you apply this on top of the ring, you've got this little latch with a lip. So this lip will go behind the white ring, as you see. And then you push this in and you use the latch to secure it in place. And now you've got the seal. You could connect the gas obviously to one of the gas ports. When you want to remove it, you unlatch it, release, and then you want to release, relax this because if it is tight, it becomes very difficult to remove. Okay, and then you use this string that comes with it to pull out the inside ring. And normally I, I do this like in a controlled, slow controlled way, because if you do it quickly, you might catch some of the bowel and run the potential of damaging the bowel. And out it comes. Now, the other commonly used device, which is um, probably only slightly more expensive than uh, the gel point device, is the Olympus Triport. There is a quad port version of this. But most commonly you're going to be using the Olympus Triport and this usually comes in three parts. This ring is the inside ring, which you will notice is actually much smaller than the inside ring in the gel port. So if you've got a smaller child, um, you probably would want to use the Olympus port. Having said that, the ring on the gel point is much softer as compared to the ring in the uh, Olympus Triport. And then this ring comes in with a silicone membrane and this silicone membrane is threaded through an outside ring and this outside ring uh, has got this uh, spongy edge. So this spongy edge will sit on the skin 
this inside ring will sit inside the abdomen and then you've got this uh, strip which you will be using for removal at the end of the procedure so this normally will glide through so you can see this membrane this membrane is normally that long so this you, this port has been used so that's why it's, it's been trimmed down but usually it is quite long and usually it's lubricated as well so when it comes out of the box it's lubricated uh, so you can actually literally glide this through and the way you use it you've got this introducer and that comes with a pusher so you mount your ring on the introducer just push it in and secure it so this has been used before so that's why it's a bit rigid normally it's actually lubricated and quite easy Okay, so until that goes in, and then this has got a blunt edge, so you push this blunt edge inside the abdomen, and once it is inside the abdomen, you deploy the inside ring using the pusher. So this way the inside ring is now deployed, you can see it, it's sealed against the abdomen, and to create the seal, you just glide the outside ring along the membrane until it is tight enough. And then what you do, you fold this in, so you invert it, and you get the outside piece and that goes takes with a little bit of force and that secures it in place okay come the time when you want to remove it you have to hold this tight the ba the black plastic ring and then you remove the rubbery top with the ports and then you use this strip to remove the inside ring okay um, the other thing I want to say, if you compare the outside part of these two ports, um, you can see that there is a lot of more um, freedom of movement in the gel point, in the gel port, sorry, uh, as compared to the Olymp Olympus. In addition to this, this gel is actually much softer than this material. Um, but still, the, in the size of the inside ring, as we said before, it's much smaller in the Olympus port. So both of them are quite good, but it depends on the circumstances you um, want to use them in.